Hey yo! Welcome to Gums Videos, guys. Uh, today it's really just an announcement video. Uh, today I will not be doing the full Gums podcast, obviously, because today is Thanksgiving. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Or if you're watching this later, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I'm about to head out in an hour myself. But I wanted to test something out with you guys. I wanted to see if you guys wanted no face cam. Because personally, no face cam would make an hour podcast easier on me. Because uh, that's what I tend on doing. Because uh, like I'm going to have a lot of subjects to talk about. Stuff like that. Um, so it would be just easier on me. And I think it would be just easier to edit. And it will be easier to listen to. And uh, But if you guys prefer face cam, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, so that's what I really wanted to discuss with you guys really quick, but, um, before I go, um, there's been some heat going on in the nerd community, and for good reason. This isn't one of those things where it's like, why are you getting heated over something really stupid? Uh, if you guys haven't heard, um, Bill Mayer or Bill Maher, I forgot how to fuck you say his last name, uh, he basically said he thought comic books were a waste of time, thought that, like, hey, as a kid, it's nice to read, but as you get older, you drop down the picture books and then start reading the big boy books and then called the whole nerd community basically stupid. Now, knowing how the nerd community is, they got offended. It didn't It didn't stop there, though. Um, I'm not going to get too much into this part because this is not what my channel is about, but... um. He also said, because it's no, uh, it's no surprise that Bill Maher hates Donald Trump, and he basically blames Stan Lee and the nerd community for having Donald Trump elected because he said that only a country filled with, ba basically, this is me paraphrasing here, but he said basically, how could someone so stupid get elected? He's like, wait, basically people reading comic books are stupid, so that makes sense. So basically, in a nutshell, blaming Donald Trump for getting uh, elected because of Stanley. Now, I'm not going to get into that because, like I said, I don't want to insinuate what my political beliefs are. But I'm not going to get heated because, first off, a man's entitled to his opinion. He really is. But it's, it's how arrogant and asinine he sounds. I don't know Bill Maher that much, that well, but from what I've seen him in, he, he seems like a very calm, collected, smart guy. This is just like, what the fuck were you thinking? Really? Like, first off, the, the dumbest part to this entire story is the fact that an entire country is mourning because a legend has died and... He's basically slapping his name around while he's in the fucking grave. He's, he hasn't been dead for more than, what, like, 72 hours? Like, I, like, I, it, it, it surprises me. Like, it, it just genuinely surprises me that it's just, it's, it's just how heartless it's coming off as. Like... If this was like a year down the line, six months down the line, I wouldn't care. I just, I wouldn't care. Because I'm like, like okay, listen, a man's entitled to his opinions. But the man just died this week. And he's already sticking his name in the grave. And using, like, this guy has no relevance to politics. And, like, using that as a, def a defense to why someone got elected. That's dumb as shit. And then calling an entire community stupid. And he's basically saying that why why don't you just grow up and read big boy books? <laughs> it's people like this. Just get, I'm gonna this is where I'm gonna get a little annoyed really quick. It's just like the, Bill Maher is not the first person to basically denounce comic book movies, comic books in general. But I've seen a lot of asinine people in my day. And there's just some people that I've had a discussion with who tried to insult me because I liked comic book characters and stuff like that. Basically telling me, like, 
oh, why don't you, why don't you watch, like, World War II documentaries and stuff like that? Why don't you watch Vietnam stuff? Why, like, basically telling me I have to watch this war-heavy, sensible drama. And it's, it's not, I'm not saying Bill Maher is saying that. I'm just saying, like, it's the same idea, basically telling us, what, he's, there, that person was telling me, why don't you just grow up and watch what's real in the world? It's people like that that piss me off. You know why? Because as a filmmaker and as a film lover, as a comic book fan, people are just so fucking asinine, had their head up their own asses, not realizing what the purpose of film is. The purpose of film is to inspire, to escape this shitty world we live in. I don't care what your beliefs are, what you think about life. you got to admit, Life can be pretty shitty sometimes. And what film is good for is to escape reality. And the reason why superhero films are bigger than ever, because guess what? They're good. They're good stories. Opinionated, but they're good stories. They're no longer just flashy stuff anymore. There's actual story behind them. There's actual character behind them. Characters that we can relate to. And it's it's a good way to escape the shitty world. Like, what if... Someone like Iron Man existed. What if someone like Spider Man existed? What if someone like Batman, Superman existed? The possibilities, but the fact that we could see that on the big screen with characters that we could relate to is fascinating. And it's people like Bill Maher and this guy that I'm talking about. They're they're just like, no, it's not real. You can't watch stuff that is not real. But in reality, film is just there to inspire, to escape. Like, you can hate comic book movies. You can. But the second that you say that the reason why you hate it is because it's not, it's not, it's not mature. It's not, like, real. It's stuff like that that pisses me off. So you're basically denouncing anything, like, you're basically denouncing 99% of any written culture. I'm talking, like, like literature, I'm talking like film, screenplays, I'm talking books, I'm talking anything, graphic novels, comic books, all that stuff, movies, there's a lot of stupid shit we have in movies, I mean like ridiculous stuff like Fast and Furious, we got, like, there's just so much stuff out there that you're already denouncing because it's not based on a true story or it's not realistic. Like, movies are expensive these days. They really are. Where I'm from, I'm not sure for where you guys are at, because I heard one of my buddies from Texas, he he only spends like $10. I think it's because like of his student uh, pass or whatever. But where I live at in New Jersey, I have to spend 15 bucks for a ticket. And if I only have 15 bucks in my pocket... And, I'm, and my choices are watch Shazam, that DC movie, or watch some documentary on World War II. I am going to watch Shazam. You know why? Because I, I'm i more guaranteed to have a better time at Shazam. Not saying Shazam would be better, but I'm saying I will have more of a fun time in Shazam. And it's going to be worth my money. If I wanted to spend... If I wanted to learn something about World War II, I would read a book... Or, like, look something on YouTube. Because the stuff on World War II is very knowledgeable. I'm not shitting on this idea of movies. Because, like, there's some fascinating movies on World War II. Like, Hacksaw Ridge. Love that movie. I enjoyed that. And with my buddies who are not into the superhero genre. I watched it with them. We had a great time. I love that movie. It was probably one of my favorite movies of that year. If not my favorite movie of that year. But, saying that those movies only exist... And not superhero movies. That's stupid. Okay, I went on a bit of a tangent away from Bill Maher. But going back to Bill Maher, it's it's just ridiculous. Dude literally just passed away and already trying to taint his name. And then what really bugged me was the fact that he tried to double down on his statements. And then he just said that the nerd community is not growing up. That, you know... We're just babies, basically, and stuff like that. Like, I'm not heated about what he said. I'm just heated about the idea of what he, of what like what he believes. Like, 
it, it, it just drives me nuts. Like, that whole idea, like, oh, comic book movies are not adult. Like, it's stupid. You can say that they're stupid. I would never get upset that the fact that you say that they are stupid. But once you start calling the community, the fandom stupid, that's where, like, you have to draw a line. I'm not mad at Bill Maher. I'm not going to be, like, blocking him on my Twitter or anything like that. But he just had a, a lapse of stupidity. We all have them. I have them. You have them. If you say that you don't have them, get your head back on your shoulders. We all have moments of stupidity. But, like, the fact that he doubled down on it tells me that he's either panicking or he doesn't want to seem like he's backing down on his word. Um, like, I would just, I think the smartest decision for him would have been just to apologize, not to the, like, well, to the fandom for first off. Like, he doesn't have to apologize for having an opinion. But he, what he's got to apologize for is, like, basically taking someone who's dead, who can't defend himself, who just died recently, mind you, and a huge community is still mourning over, and sticking his name into the grave to, like, really subside your political beliefs. And that just sickens me. Like, to get your political point across, you got to, like, drag someone who had nothing to do with it. And it just... It's, it's, it surprises me. Well, that's all I really wanted to talk about, guys. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. Seriously, comment. This is a, for the podcast, this is more interactive stuff. I Like, if you guys start adding me on Twitter in the middle of the podcast, like, I will start trying to do this stuff live. I will let you guys know when I record the podcast so you can start uh, shooting me messages on Twitter, see what you guys want me to discuss. I will have a, a list planned out for what to discuss, but if you guys hit me up on Twitter, I will make sure to respond to those on the show. Like I said, I'll, I'll let you guys know the time I start recording to the time I will stop recording the podcast so you can at me when I'm recording until I start recording live. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, face cam, no cam, let me hear your thoughts. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you are watching this after, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and happy holidays.